Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to access object properties with dot notation. I went over this a little in the last video, but I still think it's valuable to go over a lot because the more you can commit this to memory, um, this, the, the better you're going to be at coding. So there are two ways of, to access the properties of an object, dot notation and bracket notation. Um, bracket notation is similar to an array. Dot notation is what you use when you know the name of the property you're trying to access ahead of time. There is a, sim uh, a sample of using dot notation to read the object's property. So here we've got a there called my object, a variable called my object. We've got a prop one, which is equal to the string of val one, and then a prop two, which is equal to the string of val two. So if we were to go to my object dot prop one, then it re run renders out to val. So we want to read in the property values of test object using dot notation. Set the variable hat value equal to the object's hat and set the variable shirt value equal to the object's shirt. Okay, so they've already done hat value here. So test object, this is a test object and we want the first one to be equal to the hat. And so we're just going to add dot hat here. Now, I think it's annoying that, they, that you can't see this. So I, I'm gonna console.log out hat value. I'm gonna put a comma and a little arrow thing here so we can just tell. So I'm, I'm just, I'm adding the string there so that we can see what's happening. So here, because the hat value is the ball cap and that's, that gets us, that tells us that the answer is right. So you can see, I'm just adding this string to hat value and the hat value is equal to the test object dot hat. And you can see that that um, causes it to render out to ball cap, which is here. I hope that makes sense. Let's do it again with this one. Um, shirt value, if we were to just add this, um, you'll see that it's just coming out as an object, right? So what we want to do, because here we have the shirt value, and so this is what it's rendering out to. So shirt value is rendering out the, um, the whole test object. So that's not what we want. What we want to do is make it um, dot shirt. And then we'll see that the, it's a jersey is the type of shirt. And so I think if we run the test, we'll be able to see this. Yeah, and so that's kind of the way that these dot notations work. Um, obviously, you could just say uh, test object dot hat and not even store it in a variable and we'll still come out to ball cap. And so if we were to do shoes here, um, you know, shoes and comment this out, we'll see that this, the cleats is here. So the shoes are cleats, test object dot shoes is cleats. Um, and so a lot of times you'll use the uh, a variable to store that information, but uh, yeah, I hope that um, me going in a little more into depth was helpful. Um, next lesson, we'll do um, bracket notation. Thanks for watching. See you then.